there! So, this time I'm going to do something different. And by different I mean I will play a game that I have never played before and that I will most likely fail at completely. Uh, it's called The Darkest Dungeon, it's some sort of an... well, it's hard to call this an RPG. Uh, I, it's not going to be a blind playthrough per se because I've been watching a bunch of Let's Plays, but obviously playing it on your own it's a bit different than that. Um, Additionally, I will be playing with this uh, difficulty modifying mod called the Pitch Black Dungeon, uh, which is a little bit silly because uh, at first I was watching people play this game because it was difficult and I wanted to see them suffer. And this mod actually makes people suffer and rage quit and now I'm playing it. Why? I don't know. Um, I've been watching, uh, most recently I've been watching a fellow called Steelwing33, I believe. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Play it and it kind of made me want to try it. So I'm going to try it and it might be a complete disaster, but um, I've bought the game, so, you know, uh, I gotta at least give it a go. So, uh, uh, let's start. It's, I believe, we should uh, pick the darkest version, right? Uh, call our estate. Uh, it's going to be Dumbo. Yes, like Dumbo and Doom combined, which seems a very fitting. And this, I believe, is where you choose the mods. I've run this menu before and did the first mission once uh, on the radiant mode to familiarize myself with controls. This is an unofficial palette expansion pack, it just makes some characters more, more colorful, I believe. Uh, let's hope it won't um, break anything, but you know, you gotta have your priorities, right? So let's go right into it. Um, and by right into it, I mean we are definitely skipping the opening scene. I'm sorry if you'd like to watch it. Uh, there are plenty of Let's Plays that feature it and I am personally a little bit sick of it. So, um, <clears throat> yes, space. Uh, sorry if uh, I will be clunky sometimes or want to know what to do, but like I said, I have not played it before. Uh, I also have to check later if the music is loud enough or stuff like that, so pardon me if it's not. Okay, so this is our, these are our first two guys, Reynold and Dismas. Dismas. Uh, they will probably die very soon, but, um, ah, right, I have to click this to move there, we were in a room. The right. So, the, the game can be heard, I think that should be sufficient, but I will of course review it and uh, if it's wrong then on the second video I will change it. So, um, yeah, I know what those skills do a little bit. But uh, the controls are still a little bit unfamiliar to me. So now he does his thing. The first battle, I think there could be two guys appearing here or, or three. Some people had uh, real crappy luck, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we should just smite the dude, honestly. I'm sure I will play a bit faster later, but right now I'm just. Um, Trying to get a hold of the controls. Like I said, I just played this tutorial mission before. All right, so is this a curio? Yes, we can open this. If only and it's some goodies. I think everybody gets those, right? This is just, well, that's nice money. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Uh, yeah, there's no. I don't think there is any point of putting them on, but. Can we even in tutorial? Yeah, we can. Alright, so let's put this on. Let's be swaggy. Alright, so this is the tutorial battle that I've seen some people fail at in the darkest dungeon. Uh, the pitch black dungeon especially. And I think that having those uh, here tells us that the mod is actually uh, running correctly. Yes, the pitch black dungeon. Alright, so that's confirmed. The doom is confirmed. So, as far as I know, the uh, grape shot blast is not really good unless it's to um, <clears throat> kill some remains of uh, weak enemies. Deceitful shot that does very little damage, but it activates riposte, so I think it might be worth it actually. 
So let's try to hit this guy on the back. Let's get the repost. And you... I think this would only hurt the first guy actually because he's fat and he takes two spots. We could try to do a stunning blow, right? And stun this guy. If it works. It worked. Nice. I have blanked by... I Oh, no, that does trigger a repost. I wasn't sure if it uh, if it triggers it when, it when he uses an AoE skill. Alright, so uh, do you still have it? Yes, one more round. So I think this bleeds and it's a good... Yeah, this, this does the most damage. From what I understand, it only m makes his damage 15% smaller, while this, for instance, makes it 80% smaller. At least that's how I'm understanding it. Yeah, I'll have to get into the mechanics now that I have to think about what I'm doing. Um, marked. Nobody's marked, so let's just do this on this this big guy. Though I think we should maybe finish the enemy first, but... Eh, he missed anyway and we got a repost, so whatever. And you cannot use anything on the... F well, you can use that, but that's not really helpful because it doesn't hit enemies. That's my bad. Alright, so we can't stun him, I believe, because he has a buff right now. He can only stun every second round. So let's just try to smite him, right? We are still alive, which is nice. The repost seems to be a really, really good skill. And I think we can activate it again right now, because this guy has just one HP, so... <clears throat> That's the one, right? Yes, and well, if he just hits it, it will be fine. Oh, I got the repost. Let's smite this guy. We could have stunned him, actually, but it doesn't really matter because this uh, quest, quote unquote, is almost over. So let's just. Yeah, the corpses have got to be killed later, but the yeah, open vein will do well. He does not have much lead resist, 20%, so... Um, well, nah, that's not necessary. They will get healed in the hand anyway, so. Let's take the stuff and let's continue adventuring because there's a chest we ought to open. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of here. In that case, I probably have seen people open this chest and get blighted um, like five times and I still did open it. Because like, uh, you know, it's a chest, you've got to click it. I'm sorry, my phone was uh, ringing an alarm that I should get up in the morning, but I got up earlier today so I can, I can record something. So we got a lot of money and some quests and well, let's not pretend like we really deserved it since it was a tutorial mission, but uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <sighs> so. Such as it is. Oh, so first mission is free. Isn't that nice? They are yours now. Uh, the mod is taunting you, telling you that it can be easy. I like you. But in reality, it's lying. Right, so I gotta click those things because those um, marks are going to annoy me. Survivalist. I have no idea what this lady does. I have no idea. I don't remember it at all. So we've got Digby here and Hatchet. Stupid names, they really will fit places, well in the Doombo estate. Um, and, right, and this, I believe that when I ran the radiant mode, all the buildings were locked men, at first. So, outlaws, dude, could you, could you please, could you please shut it for a second? Will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Guess not. Uh, all right, no, it's cards and curtained rooms. Uh, well, alike. they chose a really nice voice actor for it. I mean, uh, the atmosphere of the game is really fun and 
you know, when I complain, it's not really complaining. So, uh, and when I tell him to shut it, it's just because right now I wanted to think. So um, what I was saying is I believe in the vanilla version of the game, you cannot actually visit most of the buildings on the first week. But in this version of the game, we can. Okay, so uh, the problem is I don't really know how to go for a quest right now. <laughs> I have not yet gone on the next quest. Alright, so let's click stuff and see what the... Those are options. This is some sort of uh, manual, I believe. That's the trinket inventory, alright. Um, these are our goals and the activity log, so this will have to be quests in that case. Or not. Uh, all right then. Uh, sword, sword, sword. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, of course. This huge red button saying embark could be, could be possibly the thing we were looking for. Um, but one thing I want to see: uh, how to improve this because we should improve this. Yes, we should. Uh, we should buy this, I believe, and. We should also buy this. Word is traveling. Maybe is even this. Since we got this money and um, use this. they are pretty cheap at start. And we would like to have a little bit more people when we come back if somebody dies. Though I would hope that not in the on the first mission that nobody will die on the first mission. I think this should be fine. I remember people saying uh, setting those guys on the on those positions. And, right, what skills did we have? I like to have that corpse clear skill. Yeah, we do have it. It's the hand of light. That's nice. Uh, divine grace, that's the single target heal, right? And we don't have the, the uh, group heal. But it will have to do for now. I don't know if this um, person will live, live long enough. And we have the incision. Blinding gas. Blinding gas is nice. It gives us ton. A shitty hill and also a corpse clear. Right. So um, okay. So provision. I got it. I got it. Well, that's poor. When we get stuff for free, the, there is a way to buy. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. That's that's not a lot. <laughs> when it's free, it's not gonna be a lot of stuff, is it? How... <clears throat> how realistic? How realistic? Well, like I said, the mod only jokes about liking you and wanting to make things easy for you. Right, so you gotta click space to go. So, uh, this is the map, alright, so I can... Uh, can I move it, like... Alright, so, right click. And we can go and see what happens. So we have to complete... Right, destination. A hundred percent of room battles, so we should probably check this one as well. And that's two bone rubbles, though. I still call them bone bubbles, since I remember when the font was uh, worse. Right, so she can only do that on the last two. And this is a quick one, so it got two actions remaining. Because why not? Alright, so disorienting blasting this guy. To at least prevent one of those. How much HP they got? 10. We cannot bleed them, right? Because they are skeletons, so that makes sense. Alright, so let's just do this deceitful shot thing. Maybe should have just tried to kill them, but I don't know how much damage it does really. Especially without the bleed. And let's do this. Yeah, I definitely should have just killed that guy and then finish it with Reynold. And the Vestal, like, uh, we could judgment them, but just heal, why not? <coughs> Apologize, my throat is just waking up. Like I said, I was... Um, I need to pick this again. No, I... What? Now I can do it on the first one. That's lame. Alright, so now I believe we could use Grapeshot Fast. 
Nice crit. I, I did not think it he would crit. That's a journal page. What is this? Why do I have this? Why did I bring this? Right. Welcome to your first quest in Pitch Black Dungeon. This quest will further outline some of the basic principles of the mod and ways you can be efficient and thrifty with the environment around you. Please read all of the lore pages and find and follow their instructions for the, just for the course of this quest. This quest has been scripted to provide you with a specific set of skills and give you a head start. Um, you know, I know most of the stuff so I won't be reading them. Uh, thanks to the let's plays and then it might turn out that I was wrong of course but uh, let's hope not so that's dim light right so let's pop a torch and we got radiant light uh, it does not do anything for damage uh, I think we need to yeah we need to open the map and choose another alright so that's our first curio. Let's open it. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I believe the first mission should allow us to carry it home. Hexproof. I think that should mean that she doesn't get debuffed. But that would make sense anyway. That would make sense. Uh, so she resisted that and let's um yeah let's do this repulsed thing so eh, can't do it on the first one all right then eh. yeah see worth it worth it worth it double worth it right so yeah heal why not and Raynor you can try to stun somebody right let's stun you nice very nice and let's try to kill this lady first then um you can you can reach out so let's do this they can bleed because they are human and bleed they do uh, now we cannot do anything with our plague doctor, so let's just let her heal this mass. Uh, yeah, I could theoretically kill him perhaps with the Vestal, but you no know, free HP is free, so let's just take it. Right, I did not want to use the skill. Of course not. Uh, I mean, it will not be of any consequence, but I gotta learn not to fail. So this is Holy Fountain. Uh, I think Holy Water would go well with Holy Fountain, right? Divine Benefit. Yeah, Stress Heal. That's nice. Thought it might be that. I will recall what some curious do from the Let's Plays I've watched. Maybe not all of them, but I might have a clue. I might have a clue. He pops torches. Now let's see about this room. That's an Iron Maiden. I think this one is really bad. I I I want nothing to do with that. Uh, I know it can give you claustrophobia, and uh, I don't know what to do with it so that it does not uh, give you anything bad. Uh, claustrophobia, some. I don't know, disease, bleeds, just doesn't seem like a good idea. Now, packs I like. A uh, small dagger, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, let's go through here. And I should have popped a torch before this, right? Yes, despite this bleakness. Bone bubbles. Ah, uh, I mean, one bone bubble. All right, so what can we do here? We can stun this guy, so let's try to. Stuns are awesome. I think stuns are one of the, well, stuns that work are awesome. They got not a lot of protection, so. Uh, nah, I like my, I like my um, deceitful shop. 
I like my repost. It's he deals a little less damage on this, but then there is there might be some free damage later. So that's always a nice thing to have. If they would hit him, of course, which they do not uh, seem to want to do right now. Ah, quick. They, they are really quick for me. It's like second one that's quick. So let's heal. Those are some pretty nice heals. I thought it would be like two or three. Uh, yeah, of course we will get lucky on the tutorial mission and later on we will not. See? See? Tutorial mission? Extra lucky. Need to use up all of our luck right now to fail later. Um, I'm gonna go with the grape shot. They are pretty weak, so maybe then we can finish them with the Bible skill. Uh, blinding gas. Nah, why not? It's not like she has much, uh, much choice here. And again, it's a resist. Does have a little uh, small crit chance? I mean, hit chance? I did not pay attention. So let's heal. We know. And <clears throat> when he goes, I think he will do something useful. They have so many turns. Alright, so uh, let's do the zealous accusation. As the fiend falls, a e. e. So they come back instantly. We did not even get a chance to clear them. I thought we would. Alright, so try it again. Uh, it's got 95 accuracy, 95 accuracy base. That's not low. Though they were resisting, not dodging it, I suppose that's a difference. So these guys are uh, weaker, but I mean, not that weak. But let's let's just do the grape shot again. And you heal yourself. You should name her Hatchet, not Hatchet. I'm gonna do it next time I'm in town. She's gonna be the Hatchet. Yeah, the, using the AoE skills is not advisable, but they are so nice. Uh, disorienting test, let's try it again. It worked again, that's nice. And, eh, sure. Man will die, so it's all good. I wonder if he will get back up again. It's very likely. So maybe they just come back at the start of the turn, so we would have to uh, have the last person clean them up or something like that. I don't think he can clear corpses, so let's do zealous accusations. Destroy them all. <coughs> Reanimated soldiers. And disorienting blast, yeah sure. She really doesn't have any good skills there. Maybe she should be standing here or wherever the incision is available from. So heal yourself. Yeah, that's more like the heal I would expect. Uh, just, uh, just try to kill this. Alright. And you just... Uh, you know what? Let's stun it. Maybe we will get another heal in that case. Uh, or maybe we will not. That that that's also a possibility that is also a possibility so you only can do yeah right uh, she would have to stand here for the incision which I might, uh, might do so this is really not uh, impressive but yeah, hit it hit it hard and you heal along. now so I will get his turn. Well, that's that's a big hit, rather. Can we try to heal? Let's try to stun him. Well, never mind. Seventy-five gold. We are swimming in gold. Uh, Alright, so is there a shortcut for the map? I guess not. Let's pop one torch. So we don't have any scouts, so I don't know if there is a battle here. Nope, there is a 
pile of stuff. So let's use the shovel. Now let's pop a torch. Let's go through. And that's books. And as far as I know, using torches is good on books. Torches or knives? What do we have? Short poem helps with stress. So let's do this. And journal, that's a little bit of money. That was fine. That was fine indeed. Ah, yeah. Just headbutt the, the walls. I have a feeling that will happen for a few more episodes at least. Ah, uh, how's the slight shadowy? Let's uh, pop a torch. Nothing here. That's that's nice. That's nice. It's always nice when there is nothing. Well, actually, treasure would be better, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Actually, this level of light looks more cozy. It's a babble and resistant. He has more protection. No, he has less protection, more resistance. So well, that makes sense. Doesn't it? So let's try to start with a stun on this guy. It worked and it also moved him forward. Uh, let's do the, the deceitful shot. The bone babble is probably the least dangerous of them all, so let's ignore him for a time being and you will just heal stuff. Yeah, this uh, Renault is so slow. At least he dodges. At least he dodges. That's good. Nice. Good job. Graveyard stumble. Wrecked. He was stunned, so... I think we will stun somebody else now. No, we will not, because I don't care to stun the bubble. Uh, so that's damage mod minus. Damage versus unholy. That should be nice, right? So let's try to... Why? Why would you miss him? Right, so open vein is kind of bad. Pistol shot. I uh, has more crit than this. Nothing here, really. Seems that amazing. But that's well, that's well. nice. That's nice. All right. I take it back. I take it back. This mouse. You good. You good man. Nice. Hatchet wants compliments as well. Uh, disorienting blast again. Let's try to disorient this, this guy, maybe. It's not really good that we move this guy back, but... Eh. Ouch! Well, he's dead anyway. See, repost! Go repost! Best skill in the game, I'm sure of that. Um, yeah, bubble misses. Nice. Graveyard stumble might be pretty bad skill. I guess like stumbling scratch from the cultists. Uh, stunning blow again. Let's try to stun uh, this guy. Bah. No! He's back. That's that's no good. Uh, this one is resistant. That might not really work out. So let's try. Uh, this one had the bath. I'm a noob. Whatever, I'm just gonna grape shot them. Heal. Could be worse, could be better. Graveyard slash. Mm. Ouch. And... Uh, yeah, this guy is gonna be hard to stun. Let's just try to smite him down, maybe. Noise. And also did not leave a corpse because of the crit. I have to realize how those corpses here work. I think it's at the start of the turn that they uh, get up, but I'm not actually sure of that. I'm not actually sure. So disorienting blast on this. Why not? Uh, you pistol shot, perhaps. Get rid of the babble. Heal, heal, heal. Nice. 
jump in the night. I really like the names of some skills they got. They are they are very uh, I don't know quirky of, of sorts. I don't know, just just like them. All right, so let's do the Bible attack so we can kill one. Sally, it leaves a corpse. Indeed, uh, I am not good at the dealing with those corpses. I don't know. Uh, well, this one is normal, so let's do this. I am sure I could be doing this better. I just haven't cracked the code yet. Uh, I think this is fine at start. Maybe later it's more crappy, but now it's okay. Maybe I should trigger the repost again. Instead, yeah, would be nice. Out. Uh, let's try that. Maybe we're killable. Yes. Leave one corpse, so I guess they can get up twice or something. Eh, I don't know. Let's try to pistol shot. Shoot that one. All right. Disorienting blast. Also this one. Heal this mass. And let's try to Bible them. That was not the best. One HP left. Well, maybe that was actually a good thing, so they don't get up again. And you try to do this shot here. Nah, no, you can't. Can you do this? Yes. Alright. Because I want to Bible them to death. So they both die at the same time and they cannot get up again. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how that works out. Well. It works out well. Alright, uh, let's continue adventuring because there is a chest in here. The contents are ours. That's nice gold. And I think we can go to this room, honestly. Because we got a lot of everything and we don't have any stress whatsoever, basically. And there is absolutely jack shit in here. All right. Yay, our first quest complete and we did not even lose anybody. Isn't that sweet? All right, so it's money. We got no quirks whatsoever, which is fine. The game is being kind. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Again? And the letter was on its way. I mean, I won't complain, but I thought it was maybe just once. Is there a difference between supplies and provisions? I don't think so, right? It's where the treatment ward, which we don't need to use. We got the, the Abbey. The Abbey calls to the faithful. And who do we have in here? We got an antiquarian, which is <laughs> such a bait, because you take an antiquarian and then you make a crap run to make more money and you lose everything, which we will surely do. We got the Jester. Jesters I like because they got the stress relief, which I think is quite important. And we got an occultist, which is a very fun character, I'd say. Right, so what we wanted was... We wanted to rename, right? I wanted, but I'm sure everybody would agree. Hatchet. That's right. All right, so uh, this will be it for this episode. I will actually go around, see eventually um, if I want to st if I want to buy anything, upgrade. But I will not do this on screen because it will uh, probably take longer than it should. I analyze things over over analyze things that's that's what i do all right so uh this will be it for the first episode of let's play the darkest dungeon pitch black dungeon uh in the doombo estate and i will see you in the next episode because i have not rage quit yet so there's that uh have a good day and um yeah i'll see ya